Hello and welcome to cookingflavors.com. For today's video, we look at the preparation of more karambu. Here are the list of ingredients that we require to make this. First and foremost, you have to soak two tablespoons of chana dal and one or two tablespoons of rice in water for approximately two to three hours. The more you soak, the uh, smoother it will be ground into a paste. We'll grind this into a fine paste. Uh, today, I'm going to be making vendaka more karambus. For that, I've taken about eight to ten pieces of a uh, lady's finger or vendaka and I'm frying it in just shallow frying it uh, with a little bit of oil. You can also alternatively use uh, pumpkin or uh, cucumber chow chow. If you're using uh, pusnika, vellerika, chow chow, and vegetables like that, uh, you have to uh, boil them in water with a little bit of turmeric and uh, salt. Now I'm adding a little bit of salt uh, for the uh, lady's finger. We'll uh, fry this nicely and we'll come back. Now all my vendaka or lady's finger is fried well. I added a little bit of water and ground the chana dal and the rice into a fine smooth paste. Now I'm transferring it, it, it into a kadai and we'll have to cook it well. Since they were raw, we need to cook them well. Since both chana dal and rice are thickening agents, they have the tendency to keep forming lumps. So what you have to do is keep stirring them uh, continuously with a whisk preferably. If you don't have a whisk, you can do a ladle, but do it continuously. Now as you keep stirring it, it will get thick. You have to add a little bit of water and keep stirring it. It will form into a porridge kind of a consistency. And when you taste it in your mouth, you will know it. It is. It will be cooked. You will not feel any more a raw flavor in it, and that means it's nicely cooked. You can transfer this into a bowl. Let's look into some grinding in a mixer jar. I've taken just about half an onion, now four to five pieces of ginger. One green chili, or just green chili according to your spice level, because this is the only spice that we are going to add in this more karamba. Uh, we'll churn this a little and then we'll add in the tomatoes. Uh, today I've taken just about half a tomato. Tomato is totally optional. I'm only going to churn this and I'm not going to grind it into a smooth paste because here and there, if you feel the crunch of all these things in your more karamba, it'll taste good. Now we'll look at the seasoning. On the same kadai, I've added oil and added about a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Once they splutter, I'm adding in a teaspoon of cumin seeds and uh, just about one dry red chili, some curry leaves and coriander leaves. We'll stir that a little and then I'm adding in half a tablespoon of onions. Onions are totally optional because we've already churned some onions also. So you can omit these onions here. We'll fry that a little and then I'm adding in just about quarter teaspoon of asafoetida or hing and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. And now transferring the churned ingredients into the kadai. We'll just give that a quick toss for just about uh, three to four minutes uh, till the raw smell of the onions and the ginger have gone away. Now I'm adding in uh, just about a tablespoon of coconut. Alternatively, you can also uh, churn or grind the coconut with your uh, in your mixer jar along with the other ingredients, but I prefer to do it this way. Finally, I'm adding in the fried uh, lady's finger and we'll just mix them all just for a minute or two. Now I've transferred it into a bowl in which I kept the chana dal and the rice paste. Wait for this to completely cool down and then we'll add in the curd of the yogurt. Don't add yogurt when it's hot. Now it's time to add the yogurt. I've taken some yogurt and whisked it nicely. Make sure your yogurt has no lumps. And if you have a little bit of sour yogurt, it'll taste good. But if you don't have, no problem. You can just go and go ahead and add whatever one you have. But make sure it has no lumps. Uh, we'll mix that a little. This is the stage where you have to adjust the consistency of the more karambu that you uh, like. If you like it a little runny, add some more water. If you like it a little thick, you can keep it as is. So I've added, I like it a little runny. So I've added added uh, some more uh, watery uh, curd or yogurt and then I'm mixing it here. Finally, we'll have to add the required amount of salt and give that one quick stir. I'm garnishing it with a few coriander leaves. My tasty Vendaka Mor Karambu is ready. You can serve it with a simple potato fry, varaka fry, butter gourd fry or even uh, brinjal and katrika for real. Hope you enjoyed this video today. Do try it out and give us your feedback. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and post in your comments and suggestions. Hit the like button and keep encouraging us. You can also visit us at cookingflavors.com and follow us on Google+. Till we see you again with another new and interesting recipe. Thank you and happy cooking.